Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. They are angered by your overconfidence and bold declaration. They are angered by your overconfidence and bold declaration. It, it turns them off. I mean, it gets them at the edge. It gets them agitated. They get so angry when you display confidence and when you speak boldly. You know, one of the strategies of battle, whenever you're confronting the devil, one of the first thing you have to say is declare boldly. The Bible says they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. So you have to speak. You have to declare that he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. You cannot approach the devil being timid. You cannot approach the adversary being timid. You have to express boldness. And do you know where your boldness comes from? Your boldness comes from your relationship with God. You can't act like uh, you know you can't go roaring in front of the enemy when you do not have a backing when you do not have something backing you up something sponsoring your boldness every time you see someone who is weak in quotes every time you see someone who is weak you know being overconfident and making bold declarations you know there is something that powers them there is something that empowers them there is something they are standing on which is beyond them there is another force that is backing their actions look at david when david went down to fight goliath and when he saw everybody was scared all the armies of israel were scared they were hiding in their tent and david was just a young boy the age of 18 and when he went to give food to his brothers at the battlefield he saw goliath that was terrorizing the whole of Israel. And he said, Who is God? What would they give to the man that takes down this Goliath? I mean, the people were around, they were so angry. Like, what, what makes you think you can take down Goliath? Look at the, all the armies of Israel, they are in hiding because Goliath is a threat indeed. And nobody can stand, nobody stands a chance against, against Goliath. They were so angered by the fact that. Let's read it. I don't like, I, I like always talking with the Bible, all right? So 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 28 says, Now Eliab, his oldest brother, that is David's brother, heard what he said to the men. And Eliab anger, Eliab's anger burned against David. And he said, Why have you come down here? With whom did you leave those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your presumptions over confidence and the evil of your heart. You have come down in order to see the battle. The brothers who were scared of Goliath, when they heard David say he wants to confront Goliath, they were like, are you, are you crazy? What makes you think what we are scared of you can confront? But they did not understand. David's confidence came from the fact that he had gone through fiercer situations. The brothers were not there in the, in the, in the field when he tore a lion with his bare hands, when he killed a bear, they were not there. And so his overconfidence was coming from the fact that he knew God. He was confident. You can even see when he, when you can even see it how he approached the battle with Goliath. He said, I, you, you come to me with your sword and everything, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. So you see, David's confidence was not in his strength. David's confidence was not in his ability. David's confidence was not in what he can do. His confidence was in God Almighty. He knew that God was able to not only deliver him from the hand of Goliath, but to kill Goliath. He had an anchor. He had something he was banking on. And you're watching me right now. God says whenever you rely on him, whenever you depend on him, when God is the one that powers you, your bold declarations, your confidence, then you are sure that he will show up and he will not fail. When God is the force that backs your confidence, when the reason why you are making bold declarations is because God is, you know, you have that relationship, never go making such declarations when you are not sure of your relationship with God. How do you, how, how are you sure of your relationship with God? A God you don't know in the secret cannot answer for you.
in public. A God you don't have a relationship with in the sacred cannot answer for you in public. What do I mean by that? You have to build that life. You have to build that intimacy with God. You have to have that connection, that relationship with him. So much so that you know when I call, he will answer. You're not doubting. You're not ask, You're not in a position where you're asking yourself, will he answer? Will he not answer? Will God be pleased with me, you know? When you have a relationship with God and you are sure of it, you know, when I call, he will answer. Then you can go ahead and make bold declarations. But without which, you stand the chance, you stand the risk of standing on your own. And he will let you to dry out right there. Because if you do not know, if you do not have a personal relationship with him, if you do not know him in the secret, you cannot expect to. He says, call on me in the days of trouble. I will answer you and show you my great and mighty things you know not of. This is not for everyone. This is for people who know him in the sacred. People who have a sacred walk with him. Hallelujah. So this prophetic word is charging you up to tell you. You can make bold declarations. You can, you can, you can shake in the devil. You can say things and God helps you back them up. But then you have to build a personal relationship with God that goes beyond just what everyone knows but it, it, it I mean it, it, um, it starts from your sacred place of prayer and then to the world did you receive this word with gladness may the Lord bless you keep you cause his face to shine upon you may the Lord be gracious to you and give you peace the shalom of the Lord nothing missing nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. God bless you. Shalom.